everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is yet another baby related video but some crafty things are coming soon so stay tuned for that with the three month mark quickly approaching um, I figured this would be a great time to kind of review the most used things, the most things I've used, the things I've used the most. Today's video is my top five most used newborn items. There are many other lists out there, different people's opinions, different baby's opinions, whatever. And let me just say every baby is different every family's needs are different. So for what it's worth, here are my top five favorite items that I'm so glad I have and I use every single day. All of these items I have purchased from Amazon. Of course, it's me. You know me, I love Amazon. Um, the links for them, if you're interested, will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump into item number one. A sound machine. If you weren't aware already, when a baby is in the womb, there is noise 24 seven, gurgling, digestion, things that we can't hear necessarily, they are hearing all the time. So naturally, when a child is born into this world and they are put somewhere super quiet, they get upset. This has definitely helped us in that department. This has helped to establish when it is time to take a nap, when it is time to go to bed, especially since we use one sound for all of it. However, this thing has an array of different sounds. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. This thing has six different sound settings on it, volume settings, timer settings, and it's both battery and DC power operated. Allow me to demonstrate. Turn it on. Volume goes really, really loud. Or really, really quiet. This helps to eliminate other noises that might startle him in his sleep. And I believe this has also helped when we are out and about at the grocery store, bowling or doing activities that don't necessarily involve him. He's able to be calm through any of it and not cry his head off because he's used to noise and he has no problems falling asleep in public. So this has definitely helped on many different occasions. Um, here's the different sounds that it has. At the beginning, we used ocean during the day and then rain at night. But I figured that one sound for sleep in general would be the best thing to kind of train him, sleep training kind of thing. A babbling brook. A summer night. Rain. And just general white noise. I would highly recommend, if not anything else that you get for your newborn, get a sound machine. Definitely. Okay, so item number two on my list is this guy. Battery powered sprayer for the bath. This not only provides fun for bath time, it also helps to clean places that might be a little bit more difficult otherwise without it. We've used this since he's been able to take a bath after his umbilical cord fell off and he's loved it since. <laughs> it's a great, like, interactive type of toy, um, but it also, you know, it serves two purposes, basically. Highly recommend this item as well. Item number three on my list is just plain, simple washcloths. These came in a pack of 50, um, since I was planning on doing an out of hospital birth, my midwife asked that I get something like this to 
kind of help on her end for cleaning up and stuff. They're small, easy to carry around, great for just general drool, spit up, things that come out of baby's places. <laughs> so for me, I have them pretty much all over the place and I grab it whenever I need it real quick and do what I need to do with it. Um, highly recommend just plain simple big bulk size pack of washcloths. Item number four on my list might be considered a little pricey but I think it's worth it especially it will last you many months and there's also different sizes of it but it's basically a swaddle sack that is zippered both ways. It has a zipper here and a zipper here that goes both ways. Pretty much anything that can zipper from the bottom up is wonderful. When you're in the middle of the night and you need to change his diaper or anything, have easy access to the downstairs area, a zipper from the bottom, zipper, not snaps or Velcro or buttons or anything like that. Zipper is so super easy, quick, efficient, and just wonderful. But the sleep sack in general is also great. This one in particular, because it's a zipper, it's quiet. It's not like the Velcro ones that make a lot of noise and then wake them up or startle them when you're trying to change them and stuff. Do not recommend anything Velcro at all. That's my opinion, but I don't. Um, this is also positioned into a fashion where his arms can be up like this, which is supposed to be soothing for them. At least for my child, he likes to lay like this a lot. Um, so having this was really handy because he could do that with also having his hands inside of something so he wouldn't scratch his face up or what have you. So highly recommend something like this with a zipper. A zipper is important. Get a zipper. Okay, so the last item on my list is another thing that I think my child will use for many years to come. You might be wondering, what has been behind me this whole time? Well, let me show you. This is a mat. A mat that can be laid on for tummy time, for play time. It's two-sided, so this is one side. The other side looks like this. It's got a fun pattern on it, animals, letters, high contrast things. Uh, this is my three month old, not even, listen, he's gonna be three months tomorrow, right? How old do you think he is just by looking at him? Can you tell me? People say four or five months. You're not even three months old yet. Anyways, this is my child in case you wanted a gander. So it not only has fun patterns and things for your baby to look at, it's also made of super soft and squishy, not super squishy, but squishy material for them to crawl around on with comfort. It is also something that I use for myself kind of as a yoga mat for whenever I'm doing my postpartum exercises, trying to get back to some sort of normal. Another great thing about this mat is because of the material that it's made of, should my child spit up or have an accident of sorts, all I have to do is wipe it down with a wipe, a rag, whatever, and it's good to go. No need to worry about staining the carpet, weird smells emerging from places long forgotten. It's also super easy to fold up, put away, and take back out again, and it doesn't take up that much space. Allow me to demonstrate. So that is five items that I recommend for newborns, babies, toddlers, and on. But wait, I have a sixth bonus item. Sensory related videos, such as Hey Bear Sensory, Tiny Adventures TV, Super Simple Songs. These channels on YouTube offer a wide variety of sensory images that move 
songs, music, things that can engage their minds, things that help their brain develop and their eyes develop and a bunch of other science things. If you're interested in those channels, I will also link them in the description below. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you are a parent and if what types of things um, you use for your child. I would be interested, maybe trying something new as he gets older. Um, but if you are a new parent or going to be one, I highly recommend that you look into some of these items that I have mentioned. Um, they have been great for my family and I would expect that your child would also enjoy them as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.